So what this is, you know, it's a, it's a landmark. It's near the Osiris shaft, but it's not the Osiris shaft. It's just this mysterious pit that even the Egypt, local Egyptologists couldn't tell me what the name was, okay? So here we are. So you can see that goes quite a bit down there. All right, so there's obviously, a, you could pick a center point here, but by using the measuring tools on Google Earth, let me show you what we got here. From this point, it's exactly 888 feet to the southeast corner of Khufu. It's exactly 888 feet to go directly perpendicular or straight east from Khafre. It's exactly 888 feet, and we can't see it here, but right over that ridge that I'm looking at is Kent Kawe's. 888 feet away. And when I look this way, the Sphinx is exactly 888 feet away. So the Holy Shaft is the center of an incredible circle that touches four major monuments on the Giza Plateau. Okay, so uh, I've, I've got the, uh, what I'm doing right now is just rough testing my discovery here at Giza. Now this is the holy shaft right here. And I've done a lot of programs about the holy shaft. So if you do a close-up, it's basically an oval in, in a in a rectangle, you know, or basically, you know, I, I would say a circle in a square. I mean, it's got ancient symbology, but it's this humble, humble region. And so these lines, I'm trying to figure out where the center would be, because if this, as I contend, was a major obelisk in the past or a point where is the point? So I've took, taken diagonals across various sides of it, the center circle. So this area in here is where the center probably was. So this is not exact, but it's, it's close. It's very close. So I've started the line right there. I just picked those, the black diagonals. Okay, so let's start there. So let's go up to, uh, let's, go, let's start with Khufu. Now my contention, of course, it's 888 feet. So again, it's hard to see exactly where the borders are in Khufu, but let's go a little bit closer and, and see what we can come up with here. Okay, so, all right. So here's, uh, what, okay, so here's, 888 feet right there. Now that is very nearly the southeast corner. It's it's right on a line this way with what appears to be the edge and it's on a line this way. And so I'm not totally lying or deceitful or anything. I'm saying that it's 888 feet to the southeast corner of Khufu. Obviously there are some, you know, tolerances plus or minus. Now let's look at the Sphinx, okay? So let's go over here to the Sphinx and where does it come on the Sphinx? And so we go to 888 feet, it comes to right there. Now that, if, well, if I put it over there, it's uh, 888. So I'm going there because this is on the fissure, which is a magical part the ancient Egyptians considered, even though it's a natural fissure. You can see it goes through, you know, the Sphinx enclosure here. It's not just, but it cuts through the Sphinx body. So. It's, that's about where it goes to. But the point is the 888 feet does touch the Sphinx and it touches it right about on where that fissure is. Let's go down to the tomb of Kenkawes now. Okay. And look, we've got the 888 feet goes to, you know, whatever this entrance crevice is there, it goes to there. You know, that seems to be, you know, like a centralized part of this. I mean, there's no center to this. What would you say is the center of Kenkawes? This? There's no definite center, but this is like a definite part. This crevice, this seems to be something important or whatever. So that's 888 feet to Kenkawe. So it goes right in there. So it's, again, there's a fudge factor. It's in there, it's in there somewhere. And now let's go over to Kafri and see where the 888 feet comes on Kafri. So let's see, let's go a little bit farther out here so I can see this. All right, so here's the mortuary temple. And so 
we're going 888 feet. Now look at that. That, if we made this a little straighter here, 888 feet, it's very close. Now this looks like a line of rubble that's just outside, but remember there's a thing about coffee that it's got this supposed foundation underneath the present foundation, which is bigger. So the point is that, that there, are, you know, there are those that say that, I think Stephen Braben is one that says that, then this 880 feet, is, it's not wrong to say it's at the edge of Khafre because it's very close to the edge. Okay, so that's my contention that this holy shaft, this humble shaft, is the center of an 888 foot circle. And then I showed how the, you know, the ancient numbers with this, with using the ancient cubit, yields the knowledge of the size of planet Earth. I've also said that this is an exact 100 foot from all, most of the major things at Giza. So for instance, right here, look at it, to the corner of this, 200 feet. That's the Osiris shaft. It's an exact, you know, 100. Let's go to the corner of Khufu over here. It's exactly 1,000 feet to that southwest corner. I mean, it's close. And I've just found to so many of these monuments, let's see, what is it here, this one? Um, yeah, to the corner, the northeast corner of Hanutsen. It's a thousand. I, I just wanted to show the rational basis for, you know, what I, what I found. And uh, so here's like a PowerPoint slide I took showing that that holy circle that I discovered there, when I convert it to the ancient cubit and I compare it to Stonehenge, the Earth, and the Great Pyramid, it reveals the same knowledge of planet Earth. So the Earth is tangible. The Great Pyramid is tangible. Stone has, Stonehenge is tangible. But what I found here is virtual. And it's saying the same thing. I think it's a profound discovery. Wow.